Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. Welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill John. Got a uh, product review today. Uh, there's a fellow named Eric Speakerman. Eric is famous for information design, and I have his book, Stop Stealing Sheep. And I even have seen Eric speak when he was uh, speaking at the University of Akron. And I got, um, well, let's face it, I got spam the other day uh, announcing that there was a brand new font that was designed for Excel a font designed by Excel, and I probably would have clicked delete, but I saw that it was designed by this fellow named Eric Speakerman. So I took a look and checked it out. Uh, Eric has designed a font that is designed to be very legible in a spreadsheet, both when it's printed and when it's displayed. They have something that is narrow. You know, Their point is there's a lot of cells that contain text. Usually that text tends to stretch things out. There's not room for it in the columns. Your columns are unduly wide. And so what we're looking at here is we're looking at this new font called Axel, A-X-E-L, from Eric Speakerman. I've been using it now for a couple of days. Uh, the one thing that I, I really like about it is the zeros are slashed, uh, which reminds me of the old, old CRT screens that we had back in uh, the, you know, the early to mid 80s. But in general, I kind of like the font. Now, I did some tests here. They say that it is uh, narrow while still being readable. Uh, the copy from the spam indicated that Arial narrow is, is very narrow but uh, harder to read. And so I took the words testing123 and used format column auto fit selection in a variety of fonts, Arial Narrow, uh, Calibri, which is the Excel 2007 font, Times New Roman, the font that I used most often, and then here's Axel and Axel small caps. You'll see this one uh, where instead of having lowercase letters, they have small caps. Uh, and then finally, Arial, which had been the default font before Excel 2007. And while Arial takes 14.14 to make that, Axel is narrower, 13.14, uh, but certainly not as narrow as Calibri Times New Roman or Arial Narrow. But as far as readability, well, you know, that's up to you to check it out. Now, they had an introductory special at fontshop.com. So if you go to fontshop.com and search for Axel, you can get all four fonts. That's the small caps font, the regular font, and then bold versions of both. Uh, and uh, check it out if you're a heavy spreadsheet user. You can uh, buy that and then license it for up to five computers. So you know maybe uh, the accounting department can get a set. Everyone can try it out, see how it works. Now, if you decide that you like this, uh, then of course what you're going to want to do is set it up as the default so we go to the Office button and then Excel Options. Uh, once we're in Excel Options, you're going to come back here to the Popular option and say Use this font. Change that from Body Font to Axel. We'll do that and we'll check it out here over the next week of podcasts and see how we like the Axel font. Well, there you have it. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.